In this video, I will show how several users can share the same translation memory and glossary without having to set up their own server and even if they are located in different parts of the world. This can be achieved with WordFast Anywhere, the free cloud-based version of WordFast, a very popular translation tool. Here, I'm going to log into my WordFast Anywhere account using Firefox as my brother. I'm going to act as the project manager for a multi-user translation project. So I go to Setup, and I can see I have an English-French TM. I also have an English-French glossary. I'm going to share this TM and glossary with another user, Matti. So I click on the Share Revoke button. I enter Matti's email address, and I click on Share. Matti's share is now listed. I could add more shares in a similar way for other colleagues who belong to the same project, but let's assume there are only the two of us in this particular project. I'm therefore finished with the initial configuration, and I can close the setup screen. We are now switching to the computer of Matti, who uses Google Chrome as his navigator. Matti logs into his own WordFast Anywhere account. He also goes to the setup screen, but instead of using his own TM, he will use a shared TM. So Matti ticks Use a shared TM and glossary, and then click on Join. Matti can see there is one share available for him, identified by Dominic's email. So Matti selects that share and clicks on Join. Matti now opens the document he needs to translate, which consists of three segments. Matti translates the first segment and decides to add translation tools as a glossary term. He moves to the next segment and translates it. Matti now closes the second segment and commits it to the TM. We are switching back to my own computer. I also open the document I need to translate, which is similar to the one Matti started to translate. I open the first segment for translation and immediately get a 100% match. I can see this match originates from Matti. I can also see translation tools is recognized as a glossary term because it was added by Matti a few seconds ago. I move to the second segment and I translate it. I also add two terms from this segment to the glossary, translation memories and glossaries. This means Matti will be able to use them if they occur in segments he needs to translate. I close the segment and commit it to the TM. Let's switch back to Matti's computer. Matti still has one segment left to translate, so he opens it and gets a 76% fuzzy match. He can see this fuzzy match originates from me. He can also see the two terms I just added to the glossary were recognized. Matti makes the necessary changes to the fuzzy match, and his whole document is now translated. Let's move back to my computer. I still have one segment left to translate, so I open it, and I get a 58% fuzzy match. I can see this fuzzy match originates from Matti. I make the necessary changes to the fuzzy match, and my whole document is now translated. So to sum it up, in this video, we saw how WordFast Anywhere let two translators share both a translation memory and a glossary in real time without having to set up a dedicated server. They didn't even need to have special software installed on their computers. All they needed was a browser and a connection to the internet. Best of all, WordFast Anywhere is totally free. And unlike the Google Translators Kit, WordFast Anywhere guarantees the privacy of the user's data. Thank you for watching, hit the like button if you found my video useful, and do subscribe to my channel for more similar videos.